Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Corp Locked Ultimate Iron Man, the series where I get a tiny fraction of my soul drained out of me every 15 to 20 minutes. Today is now going to be day 51 of Killing Corp, and with averaging around 3 to 3.5 kills per hour overall, uh, you could tell the time investment here in terms of actual hours has been quite a lot so far. The goal is to get any sigil, uh, we've gotten zero sigil so far, but let me show you what we have gotten. We're at a nice clean 10 elixirs and 25 spirit shields. And if you didn't know, the sigil drop table is 1 out of 585, and from there it's 3 out of 7 for arcane, 3 out of 7 for spectral, and then 1 out of 7 for Ellie. So we're a little bit unlucky, you could say, for a sigil, but definitely not completely unheard of. Also, if you've been keeping up with the videos, you've seen that I've been doing the champion scrolls with the cannonballs that I get, and we are currently 7 out of 10 for the champion's cape, the only ones remaining, that one doesn't count as a champion, uh, the only ones remaining are the Lesser Demon, and the Giant, and the Earth Warriors. Which with this one I'll probably put that off for a while, but the Giant and the Lesser Demon are the ones that I'll be doing when I'm not killing Corp on stream, and I'm just like AFKing while I eat dinner at this video, etc. So it'd be cool to get one of those two as well during this video. But yeah, I mean we're gonna keep on going with the same goal, either Sigil, or I guess 2k KC will be the cutoff for this video. So, I mean, that's going to be another, like, 18 days, because the last video was, like, 18 days of progress to get 500 kills. So, yeah, uh, I'm committed, and we're going to keep on going. I'm very excited to get back to it. So let's head on back to the casino today and keep on rolling that dice for the 1 out of 585. <laughs> Could you imagine first kill the video, we just get the sigil? It's like, all right, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. We're going to wrap it up here. If only, dude, if only. Oh, Onyx Bolts, wow. Nice, nice, nice. Great start to this video, 1.6 mil alk. Yo, virtual attack level, just kind of missed it there, but that was level 107, a virtual level. I should probably pray too. Hey, we just got a virtual range level. There's 104, and as you can see, I've uh, just been working on the giant scroll whenever I have cannonballs. Uh, we're currently 2.4k hill giants in as well. Oh man, coming over here to use up the giant keys, and you just see the cutest noobs here. Look at this guy, man. He's having more fun than probably all of us combined. He wished me good luck as well, that's so cute. Huh, interesting, normally you can reanimate insult heads where you get them, uh, but apparently you can't reanimate the insult giant head from Obor when you kill him. Okay wait, so I got these 20 node lipwords from this drop, which I don't need. I'm just gonna drop them right by this guy, and then teleport out. Wait, is that kind of cringe recording myself doing that? Is that like, you know, when you go to a homeless person and you record yourself giving them money or food or something? Oh, Onyx Bolts, nice. My court. <gasps> oh my god, dude. Was not expecting that. Well, we got uh, we got the sigil from Corp. It's pretty cool. 1548 KC. That's worth 147 mil as well. Oh my god. Okay, well we got the arcane. I'm uh, I'm starting to calm down a little bit, but like I said, we are gonna go for the back to back. So we'll do one more kill right now for the back to back. We have to do two kills, don't we? We have to do two kills right now. We'll go for 1550, and then we'll be done with Corp forever. All right, there's 1549. One more kill. It's kind of a bittersweet feeling knowing I don't think I'll ever go back to Corp on this account ever again after this next kill. Well, is it really bitter? I think it's mostly sweet, to be honest. Last kill of Corp ever on the ultimate, and we got the bat-to-back -bat Addy arrows. That's all right, though, so we're going to sell these off to the store. Go fight his Spory, another very difficult boss, and then we are going to go make the shield. Uh, I guess I'll just let the cannon despawn, because I don't know like when I'll even use it. No, actually, after we make the shield, I'll be going to AFK at Hill Giants to use up the rest of the cannonballs. But yeah, after that, um, probably don't really have any other use for the cannon. But we can always reclaim it for free anytime from Nulodeon. I guess before I die, I'll put like all the things back into the POH, put like the... Uh, Amulet and the arc light back away into all their respective places and man this is like finishing up an essay like for school you know you close all your tabs out but in this case I'm putting all my stuff away back in their respective places. Oh look at that value 576 mil here. All right we'll take out a few things. I guess we'll take out the spirit shields, the arcane. Oh I'm so excited we're gonna go make this. 
about to get gamer log too of course like with any good ui and flex we have to get the ultimate iron man armor all right now let's check hans before we make the shield real quick so 234 days four hours and 53 minutes that's a little bit over 5.6k hours <gasps> wait there's so many people here holy crap dude all right uh abbott langley i think is oh he's right over here all right <laughs> there's so many people here holy crap you need 90 prayer to attach the arcane onto the blessed shield which we don't have uh so if you don't have that you can pay 1.5 mil gp with abbott langley wherever he's at is he <laughs> actually just got six hour logged frick Okay, where's Abbott Langley at? There's so many people here. There he is, okay, Abbott Langley. Greetings, can you make spirit shields? Let's have a look. I can combine these if you'd like. It'll cost you 1.5 million GP. I think I can afford that. Yes. <gasps> Dude, look at that. There's so many people here too, holy crap. Dude, okay, oh my god, all right. Let's go out here and equip it. All right, y'all. Here we go, equipping the Arcane Spirit Shield. Oh my. Dude, that's insane, man. 500 hours of corp on the UIM. Oh right, as per tradition. Let's go, boys. I'm just gonna out that second shield as well. Holy crap, thank you all for being here. It's actually insane, there's so many people. I uh, I appreciate it. Thank you all for like hanging out in the stream the last, uh, how many days has it been? Let me check. Today's day 53 of Killing Corp. We started Corp July 29th, is currently September 19th. Okay, so I guess we'll take a look at all the loot that we made from this. Uh, so I'm gonna grab out the 100 mil GP because I put 100 mil GP into Nightmare Zone because I felt kind of skeptical about carrying that much money around with me. So we'll grab that out of here. We have 148 mil, so we still have 48 mil left in Nightmare Zone. 113 mil in straight up GP made from Corp. And I'll open up the loot tracker. So it tracked almost every kill. I guess 12 kills didn't count for whatever reason. Um, but 338 mil, and if you take away the arcane, which is 147 mil, that's about 190 mil and just like all the regular drops. Oh, I guess we'll take a look at all the money on my main as well. My main over here, my, or I should say my normie account, has not put anything into the bank. Uh, I've just been standing here the whole time picking up items. So this is everything we've gotten from the UIM. Mine is like these things right here. Okay, so 42.8 million GP made on the Normie account. Well, it'll be nice to finally empty out my inventory. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty big commitment, like committing to not moving this account or like depositing anything into the bank for 53 days. Anyways, back to the UIM. I'm gonna take a picture actually at the monastery. I want to get the kill count, like the original kill count in the chat box, but I, of course I got the six hour log, so I couldn't get that unfortunately. Now here's the collection log from Corp. 1550 kills, arcane, 10 elixirs, 25 shields, Ah, uh, it's so satisfying to see a sigil filled out in there. Okay, so we're back to the dry calculator here, and the odds of having gotten at least one sigil is a 92.92% chance. So, we got a little bit unlucky, but you know, in the end, we got it after 500 hours of corp, 53 days. Oh yeah, I'll just like show you the stats of the arcane as well for those of you who don't know. It's the best mage accuracy shield in the game has the plus 20 magic attack bonus. So where would we use this at? Um, Raids 1, Zolra, possibly TOB. Honestly, it's just a flex. Like I was saying when I first went to Corp, I wasn't going here specifically for any shield for the practical use of the shield. Because if we're talking about prioritizing inventory space, there's much more important upgrades that I could make that would be a lot more worth the inventory space, uh, such as an anguish or a torture. But it's just been a personal goal of mine to finish a spirit shield, a complete spirit shield from Corp on the UIM. And we finally finished that today. Oh, apparently it's good for the mage bandos method as well if I ever want to try that. I'd probably want to get better mage gear first though, beyond just the shield. So I'm going to put all my GP into Nightmare Zone, minus like maybe 1 mil just to keep on me. We have 160 million GP in total. But from here, we're going to go get a looting bag and then figure out what's next. Oh no, dude, you know what I should have done before I got the sigil made into a shield? I should have put the sigil in the bank so I could have a placeholder for it. 
Man, missed opportunities. All right, well, we're saying goodbye to the BGS, Bando's plate body, and Bando's cloak because we're putting it back into the stash unit because we probably won't need the BGS for a long time. Okay, so we're going to go back to Otto's Grotto using the fishing cape, and we're going to make the Zami Spare back into a Hosta. And because we have the diary done, it's going to cost 150k. Uh, usually it would cost 300k if you don't have it done, and it gives us a lot of books too, apparently. Readings for nerds, dude. Who do you think I am? Devious or something? So for me, it'll be 150k to make the Spare into the Hosta. But if I ever want to make the Hosta back into a Spear, that is free. But I'm pretty sure the only place I would ever use the Spear for would be for Corp. And I don't plan to go back to Corp, like, ever again, most likely. So we got the Hosta all set and ready to go for whenever we end up going back to Slayer. But like I said, for now, for the rest of the night, I'm going to go back to Hill Giants and finish using up the rest of these cannonballs. Oh yeah, we're done with PVM for a little while too. So the Slayer Helm, Dragon Battle Axe, and Dragon Defender are all going back into the stash unit. Finishing up these essays, man. Okay, so on the Loot Tracker, you can switch over to show each kill separately. Check this out. We got a head and a giant key, same kill. I know it's not like insanely rare, but it's the first time it's happened for me and I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're wrapping up the last day at Giants here. We've got six giant keys and then five long bones to turn in. And from killing Giants, I've done about 3.4k kills. But just from Slayer in general, I probably killed a lot of Fire Giants, so I'm sure the actual number of Giants is way higher than this because you can get the Giant Scroll from any Giant-related monster. It doesn't have to be Hill Giants. Yes, give me that XP. Ooh. Oh wow, we just got a Giant Key from the Giant Key that we just used. Very cool. Okay, so we just used up all the keys here and we got up to 23 KC, which is all just from AF King with the cannon killing the Hill Giants. We're going to log off, and before we logged, uh, we were ranked 252 with 16 KC, and once we refresh, we're now rank 185 with 23 KC. So when we first started Corp, I reset the XP tracker for a bunch of skills, and I'm pretty sure one of them is per as well. So we're gonna go through all the skills in the XP tracker in just a minute and see how much XP we gained. Hopefully I reset the prayer one, I'm pretty sure I did. So we should be able to see how much prayer XP I gained as well this whole time, just from insult heads from AF King for champion scrolls. Okay, I made a nice little overlay to put on the screen. I organized all the XP that we gained and all the relevant skills. So as you can see, attack, 11.9 mil. Strength, 11.6 mil. Defense, 9.4 mil. That's pretty close to getting 99 in all three of those skills. Well, especially attack and strength. That's getting pretty close to getting a whole 99 for each of them. When I was specking Corp down, I had attack on for the Warhammer and the Arclight, and then for the BGS, it was strength. And then while actually killing it with the spear, it was uncontrolled, which is why defense is the lowest out of those three. And then for hit points, 8.4 mil XP. Uh, the 1.8 mil XP from range, that was all straight up just from the cannon. In the loot tracker here, you can see we got 82,000 cannonballs. So that comes out to a little bit over 22 range XP per ball. 161k prayer XP, which is from Insult Heads, and we're actually getting kind of close to another prayer level. And then near the start of Corp, I was AFKing Sacred Eels quite a bit uh, before I started going for Champion Scrolls. So we got a little bit over 500k fishing XP. Then for cooking, not only do we get cooking XP while fishing Sacred Eels, we also got cooking XP from cooking the sharks that we use for food when killing Corp. So 1.2 mil cooking XP gained as well. Now, as for the total XP, I didn't really keep track exactly of how much we gained, but I do remember on like the first or second day of killing Corp, we hit 280 mil total XP. So that means we gained a little bit over 38 million total XP while killing Corp. It's not literally all from killing Corp because I did like plant ranners, for example, and make potions out of those and also got some magic xp too because i alked a lot of things and speaking of magic xp we're getting very very close to 99 magic but i'm not going to spoil how we're going to be getting it just yet something else that's really interesting about killing corp is that i go through pretty much zero supplies so for example with the sharks when we first started corp we started with about 5k sharks i don't know exactly how many i use per kill we could probably do the calculations um, but we started with 5k sharks and we ended with 6.2k so I technically profited almost one shark per corp kill. Uh, and you can see in the drops here, we got 4.2k sharks as drops. Okay, wait, so I think that means we averaged two sharks per kill, but then corp also drops two new potatoes. So I did have a lot of potatoes in my inventory sometimes too, but I guess point being we did eat like two sharks per kill. And then with the arc light, when you spec with it, it doesn't use charges. It only uses charges when you do like a regular attack, which I definitely did forget to click the special attack thing quite a few times. So we did use up a couple hundred charges, but you know, the fact that we did 1.5k kills and used essentially zero charges, we could last here forever with the Arc Light as well. Instead of using super combats, I used the Dragon Battle Axe as a super strength, 
which is unlimited. And then the only real supply that I went through is one to two doses of super attack potion per kill. And I mean, we essentially have like unlimited super attacks on this account, like we're not really ever gonna run out. So I mean, just going by that, I could theoretically just stay at court forever and keep on getting the KC up and keep on going for more drops and keep on alking all those Onyx bolts and get like an unlimited cash stack one day. But there's a lot of things I wanna do on this account. As much as I enjoyed Corp, like honestly, I really did like doing Corp and I didn't mind it at all and I wasn't even burnt. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is that it's really bad for YouTube content, but it was really easy to stream and a lot of fun to stream. But we got a lot of other things to move on to now. I just realized, I was just looking at the shield here, kind of matches the concave, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, you can see right here, Corp drops Addy Bars. I filled up the blowpipe a long time ago, so we have pretty much a full blowpipe. And you may have seen in my mains inventory, I did end up dropping a lot of Addy Bars over because I just don't have space to hold on to Addy Bars or Addy Darts for the future. Next question I get a lot is what am I going to spend all that GP on? So I want to buy the Ferox Enclave respawn which costs 5 mil, I want to fill up the Nexus with teleports, and then just for like doing Slayer in general, like if I get DK's tasks I have to buy blood spells for that, if I get Kraken tasks or if I go to raids I have to fill up the Trident, and it's just nice to not have to worry about money. Plus, I'm thinking in the future, I want to try out Mahogany Homes and maybe go for front page construction at some point, so that'll cost money as well. It's just like all those little things like that with money that do eventually add up over time. Um, there is like a 100 mil GP coin stack that you can build in the POH, but I don't want to build that because I want to have something that can like flex to people. I was thinking one day it'd be cool to buy that Crystal Crown and Prifnos that cost 250 mil. Um, but the only thing is you can't store it in the POH. I don't see a reason to not let people store that in the costume room because that's just completely cosmetic. So, you know, if they ever add that to the costume room one day, maybe I'd be tempted to save up for that. It's actually this lady right here, Leon, that sells the Crystal Crown. Like you see, 250 million GP, and then you could buy like all these different crystals to change the color of it for 500k each. So like I said, maybe one day if it's added to the POH. A lot of other cool fashion scape stuff here too. Two more things, I just went back in the clips and checked. Uh, we started with 17.4k doses of super attack, so we used 2.7k doses of super attack, and then we also started with 6.8k doses of prayer pot. So we profited almost 4,000 doses, and for almost all the kills, I just one tick prayer flick the whole time. So like I was saying before, I could theoretically stay at core forever, don't even have to use prayer pot there. You can see we got 120 Ranar seeds. Oh, we also got these uh, 1440 antidotes, which comes out to like 5.7k doses of the antidote plus plus, so this stack has gone up as well, which will be nice for, let's see, I guess it'll be nice for Calfight Queen, because if I recall correctly, I go through one dose every three kills there. Man, every time at the end of a long grind like this, I always stress myself out because I feel like I forget to show some important things. Um, but yeah, for the champion scrolls, we still need the giant and the lesser demon, and then someday the earth warrior as well. When we started Corp, the only scroll that we had was the goblin one, which we got when getting Bandos KC, so... We've gotten six scrolls along this grind, seven out of 10. I guess we can do a little high scores check as well. So here's what it's looking like. Uh, I guess the most noble things are the melee stats here. We broke top 100 and even top 50 for a couple of them. Uh, cooking is front page right now, rank 21. And then we could start scrolling down here and get over to the Corp KC, which is 1550. And that KC will most likely probably be locked in forever on this account. And we're wrapping up with rank four. Corpo real beast, more like corpo fake beast, ha, ha. Well, anyways, I really hope I showed everything that needed to be shown here. This was the longest grind I've ever had for anything on any account in terms of like one individual drop, or like one individual skill or something. I don't think I've ever put over 500 hours into one specific thing, but hey, you know, in the end it paid off and we have this beautiful, beautiful shield to show for it. Man, I spent so much time at Corp, so you know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about what I want to do next, and I have a lot of things planned. And like I've mentioned multiple times in the past, because of the costume room rework update from a couple weeks ago, a lot of the goals that we'll be setting on this account will be related to filling up stuff in the POH costume room. I've got a whole list of stuff for a whole bunch of episodes, and now that we're done with Corp, I can actually post more than once every week now, so hopefully we can go back to twice a week. But with that being said, it's past 3 a.m. Today's been a long day, so I'll just start the next video in the morning, all fresh. Uh, today will probably end up feeling like a dream to me, but it happened, it's real, and thank you all very much for sticking through with the journey so far, and there's so much more to come. So with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again 
next time.